Hi, I'm Damon. I'm Tilio. I'm Justin. And we're here at the Columbia Gorge Community College Renewable Energy Technology Program. And today we're going to show you a hydraulic cylinder. We now have the hydraulic cylinder taken apart to further uh, show you the parts of the cylinder. Uh, going from right to left, we have now the cotter pin and clevis pin separated with the clevis mounting system. The rod end plate, which has a static seal at the end here. Uh, there's also a static seal at the cap end plate, which sealed the cylinder uh, fluid inside of that. On the end here, we also have a wiper that cleans the rod as it extends and retracts to prevent any debris entering the hydraulic fluid within the cylinder. So then coming uh, from right to left here, we have the rod, which is attached to the piston. There are dynamic seals on the piston, and that will slide in and out of the barrel here. Uh, this is the barrel itself, and then the cap end plate with the two ports on here. The plug has been removed, uh, and that is where you would attach a hydraulic uh, hose. The hydraulic fluid will be inside of here, and the entire unit is held together with tie rods that keep everything together. So uh, guys, what'd you make here today? So what we did was we took the cylinder that we showed you in the earlier video, we actually took it apart and we drilled it and tapped a few holes into it and we mounted it so that way people can actually, who don't understand, can break it down without actually having to physically take it apart. You can see each part, you can see the barrel, you can see our rod, you can see our piston, you can see our cap end and our rod end with our wiper. Very nice guys, super appreciate it. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>